He's played the ball over the top. Tyler Gocha here is racing in. Is this the moment? Is it going to be? Boys and girls, my goal is 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, so please click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to check out my second channel, linked in the description down below. Yes, boys and girls, today is our last ever pre-season friendly before the season starts next weekend. Also, our brand new kit has just launched. You can only go see it if you go follow our Instagram page. That's where it is, Twitter, Instagram. We've released the kit and next game, the start of the season in the next game is going to be the first match we wear the new kit. As I said, this is our last pre-season friendly of pre-season. We've won 13-0, 6-0, 4-2 and lost 5-0 to a very, very good county Saturday league side. Today we get to brand new Sunday league side into Patcham FC. Not into Milan, not into Miami, into Patcham. We don't know how good they are but we do know they're in Division 1 which I believe is the same division as us or maybe one below, I'm not too sure. Either way, they're a new team, they're going to be a good team. It's our last pre-season friendly before the season starts so let's end pre-season with a bang. Let's go. Davo, oh my God. last pre-season game. Oh what do you yeah, think? Boy. Oh yeah. What do you think son? Shit, boy, What's yeah? the score boy? I don't know, 5-2 or something. 5-2 or something. Not much pre-match shenanigans going on today, so let's jump straight into the starting lineup. Today, in goal, we have Charlie Crossgrove making his debut for Garden FC. At right back, Tommy Turner. Centre halves are Ryan Dimmage, Alex Burchett and left back Dave Tate. In the holding midfielder, we've got Ben Dinage playing in CDM today. In front of him are Bussy, Radzi and the front three are half Tyler Gocha, who's also making his debut today, and Kill. And we have plenty of options on the bench today. We've got TJ, Harry Mansfield, Stevens, Wardy, Tompkins, Hunt and Sam. Let's get straight into Mike's team talk. Uh, these boys are keen today, boys. Obviously, you can see they're a lot younger and smaller than us, so... Physically, we should be dominating them with a couple of big guys. Run through the lineup to start with, boys. Crossroads in the sticks. Uh, Ryan and Sam at the back. Right back, Tommy T. Dave Tate at left back. Both four of you trained really well the other night. Bussy, uh, Ben Dinage and Radzi. Ben to sit deep. Bussy, collect the ball deep. Let, let's try and free Rads up in the 10 dog, yeah? But Rads don't necessarily play as a 10, yeah? Gocha, for the middle, those of you who don't know him, where is he? Ty, obviously, goals for fun. Um, big lad, let's play it into his feet boys, not into his fucking chin. And half out wide left, kill out wide right to start with. Obviously there will be changes, we'll have a look at uh, most of you boys here today um, for the big game next week. Kill and half, it's important you boys stay really wide today, the pitch is narrow. Ty's going to bring you into the game, especially against the lads he's got, you know, he's going to hold everything up. Obviously Ty getting that box here when they go wide, they'll put it in another play. <laughs> Set pieces, Radzi from close, Bussy from deep, we happy with that, yeah? Every, boys, the height wise, we should be dominating set pieces. Sand, Ty, Ryan Dinage, Harvey, you've got a bit of a jump on you. Ben, yeah, let's get in around that keeper and see what he's got early doors, yeah? It's important the centre backs do stay wide. The pitch is really narrow and tiny. If we're going to be playing here every other week, it's important that we get used to that and try and make space where it ain't available. Get the centre backs wide. Can Ben show for feet in there, coming off it direct from Crossgrove if it's on? Again, your call, mate, if it's not on, just push us up, hit Ty, and we play off in there. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is kickoff between Garden FC and Inter Patcham. Garden kicking from left to right with the kickoff, and away we go. Now, you better be prepared for this game because it is going to be the craziest match of pre season as Inter Patcham get us underway here two minutes into the game, racing down this left hand side. A very speedy player, though, who plays it back inside to number 13, who looks for options. Back to the CDM, who again looks for options, takes it past Bussy, tries to work an opening and unfortunately the ref has given that as a foul early doors it is a free kick to inter patchum they whip it in they have a header it's three minutes oh my god it's looped in charlie crossgrove in goal on his debut could he have saved that i think he could have done charlie and i think he'll be the first to admit maybe he should have got to that but to be fair to the inter patchum players they've hit first they've scored first and to be honest, it was a decent header. It was on target. Bit of a looping one. And obviously, Charlie couldn't get there. So it's 1-0 after three or four minutes. And instantly, Garden are feeling the pressure. As they are knocking it out here very nicely. First time passes as Interpatchum take the ball. And this player has a shot from about 30 yards out. And that has just gone wide. Here, Dave Tate with a throw in on the left-hand side. Ben Dinage on the ball back into Dave Tate. Knock it around quite nicely, to be honest, in this little 
area on the left hand side as Radzi takes it past one, takes it past two and number 77, the speed demon we're going to call him, is going past players very very easily and once again he cuts back inside looking for one of his teammates but unfortunately, unfortunately for us, Bussy and Radzi are there to break up the play as Bussy loses the ball trying to play it up to kill and Tyler up front but Radzi, lovely bit of footwork into Tyler who tries to find kill down the right hand side and mate this is going to be one of the scrappiest first half of football you're ever going to see as kill tries to play the ball in it's defended and into Patchum can break away and as i said okay this game was scrappy as anything you'll ever see as tom turner racing down the right hand side here the young Cafu with the outside of the boot play down to kill who seems to be getting a little bit of joy down this right hand side as he cuts inside and the into Patchum is there to win the ball and prevent the corner however in his attempted clearance it falls to Radzi on the edge of the box who has a strike unfortunately it's not on target Patcham now attacking down this right hand side as the left foot player cuts inside takes it past Bussy just about as he plays it into the central player who's going to try and cut in maybe pass to his teammate and okay then referees given that as a handball and a free kick to into Patcham on the edge of the box not sure Ben could have done anything about that to avoid the handball as the player kicks it into the wall from the free kick. And it is a throw in on the 21st minute to Patchum. It's launched into the box. It's defended and cleared away by Ryan Dinich there. As number six is turning our players left, right and centre. Great little footwork there. He puts the ball in to the open man on the back stick. He goes past one and Charlie Crossgrove comes out extremely fast and collects the ball very, very nicely there. And once again, it's all happening on the other side of the pitch <laughs> to where the camera is. As Radzi is getting on the ball into half down the left-hand side for Garden here. Nice bit of footwork there. Takes a pass one. Takes a pass two. Racing down this left-hand side. Try and work an opening. Get the ball into the box. He has done. And unfortunately, that one was not given a handball. I think it's fair to say Inter Patchum have definitely been the team on top and once again they are attacking the Garden FC goal and they are pushing down this right hand side with the speed demon in the red boots who cuts inside and cuts inside again takes it past two players here one on one with the keeper and Charlie Crossgrove this time has come out on top once more. Harv now in possession of the ball for Garden FC who plays it into Bussy who's looking to find kill down this right hand side what can kill do can he work an opening get the cross in no he can go past the defender though Makes it look easy. And unfortunately, that's not a foul. It's not a corner. The referee has given a goal kick. Ryan Dinage now down the left-hand side, defending for guarding, pushing it up into Harv, who manages to tackle the passion player from behind. A lovely sliding tackle there. He unfortunately loses it. A little bubble probably hasn't helped him there. But green boots here for Patcham, racing down through the middle. Plays it into number six, who plays it out wide once more. Patcham here knocking it about nicely in the first half. He has a shot. And Mr. Crossgrove in goal collects it nicely. Garden with the goal kick now. Going to find Bussy, who I would argue has been uh, pushed in the back there, but it's no foul. Instead, what has referee done? He, he's given it a foul to patch him. Uh, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you what that foul was for. And from the free kick, it's whipped in by the patch and player. Just wide and Tommy Turner is there to defend it to win us a goal kick. Patchum with another free kick and that is definitely going to be a running theme throughout this match but he whips it in. They're already winning 1-0. Charlie, oh my word. Charlie Crossgrove, you've had an absolute stinker. What has happened there? Let the ball through his arms. Let's have a look at this on the replay, shall we? I don't think the keeper is wanting to see that again but we're going to have to show it just to show the replay for the Patchum goal and unfortunately that is 2-0 to enter Patchum against Garden and it is only the first half. This means God, we're going to have a lot to do in this second half. All we need to do, if we can, is get a goal before half time. Or, Patchum, have they just got a third before half time? They have! It is 3 0, and it's not even half time yet. Garden FC have had an absolute shocker in the first half, and fair play to Inter Patchum. They've capitalised on a couple of mistakes, and they've managed to make it 3 0 for the half time whistle. I'm sure Mike and Dale are going to have strong words with the players in this in this halftime break. Can Garden manage to pull one back before the halftime whistle? It is now on the 45th minute. Injury time. The ball is whipped in. It falls to Ryan. Trying to get it on the head. 
Falls to Alex at the back post and the keeper collects it nicely. And that should be the first half pretty much done and dusted. And there is the half-time whistle. There's so many times where we were no, losing no. the ball and whinging. Oh, you've got to be loud, don't you? You've just got to let us knock a card three times and run up behind us without letting us know. So when you we could have been behind you. So if you're going to come, come and do it or don't. And then, then we know what's going on, but we can't half-heartedly do stuff. Organisation at the back four, non-existent. I haven't heard both of you. It's just a silent game. The, the lad up top's a centre-back. Robo Tobby's a centre-back, and he, what is it, two? Yeah. Right? Let's sort that out, boys, come on. And I'll see people's attitude walking like this. And, if, and, and to not to, you know, nick anyone's arse, I've got Bradsey and Bush running their arse off. And the rest of you are just walking around them, and Ty as well. Okay, the ref is, you know, he is almost a 12th man from. We're going to have that, you know, that's standard, isn't it? That's clearly a free kick, the edge of the box on Ty. He's not going to give it for whatever reason. Shape wise, boys, st stay nice and high and wide. We'll drag them out, yeah? You're going for the motions a little bit, it's just a bit like this. You know, we're going to lose the ball, it's going to happen, it's the level we're playing at. It's how we react. When we squeeze them and press them on the ball, they're making mistakes, there's gaps, right? We're not getting it into Ty quick enough. Get into his feet every time he has, he's, he's set someone off. Three or four times they've got the ball, they've turned around and get up their arse. Don't let them turn, let them play backwards, yeah? And let's squeeze them in their half, all right? Let's show a bit of bollocks, boys. That is the worst we've played all three seasons. It's a shame. The levels you showed last Thursday should be the levels of bare minimum. First half, first half is gone. Go win this second half. Go win this second half. Come on, boys. Go win this second half. I think it's fair to say we need a big second half. If we're going to get back into this, we need an early, early goal. And let's not concede straight away the free kick from Interpatchum. It is a fantastic save onto the post from Charlie Crossgrove, who's definitely making up from a couple of mistakes he had in the first half as Interpatchum get another free kick, who launched it forward. The player takes it down extremely well. He has a shot and it goes sailing over the bar. And that is a couple of chances there from Patchen within the first two minutes of the second half. And that is not the start that Garden wanted. Garden need to get on the press, get on the attack. And we could do so with a free kick. We have just won. And it is Bussy on the free kick who launches it straight into the mixer. Ben Dinage is going up for the header. It is in the back of the net. And that is just the start that we want. Did it come off Ben or was it a known goal? Let's have a look closer on the replay. Either way, it goes in and that's all that counts. It looks like the last touch did come off a patch from head, but I'm sure Ben is going to claim it nonetheless. And that is 3-1. And that is a fantastic start to the second half for Garden FC. The question is now this. Can Garden get a second or will Patchum get a fourth and bury the game off? And if Radzi's going to have anything to do about it, we ain't going to lose this game. As the referee has given a foul there after, a, 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 you know, it's an interesting tackle from Kill. And unfortunately, it has got him in the book. But what you didn't see there, or you may not have noticed, was the patch and player kick out and get away with it. But it's the first card of the match. Hopefully, no more bookings uh, in the second half. But Kill does get a yellow card. And I don't get what's happened, mate. But the ref gave a free kick to us for that. So who knows what's going on at this rate. But Bussy with the free kick. It's another fantastic delivery. Is it going to go in? Almost went in. That was almost 3-2. If the patch and keeper there wasn't paying attention. But unfortunately he was. And TJ there coming down this right hand side. Has not been awarded the free kick. After what looked like a serious foul. Garden with the throne and definitely on the offensive. We are on the up. We have a bit of confidence now. TJ down this right hand side. A bit of footwork to keep hold of the ball. Takes it past a couple of players. Does really really well there. Not to lose possession of the ball. Ben Dinnish now on possession of the ball. He gets barged over but it falls kindly into Max's feet. Who has come on and has actually played pretty well so far. And it's Kill down on this left hand side here. TJ and Kill doing well to swap sides whenever they feel that they need to. Kill looking to work an opening to get the ball into the mixer. Slightly too far. But Tommy Turner, the young Cafu, rouletting round a couple of players. And mate, that could have been absolutely sensational. But it went out for a goal kick here. TJ now on the left hand side. This is what I'm talking about. Kill and TJ not afraid to switch sides. T's trying to work an opening just like Kill has previously done. He gets a cross in. Almost falls to Ty there in the mixer to get on the head of a Ben Dinage is picking up the loose second ball. They're going to try and work another opening down this left hand side back into Tej. Can he take it past? He plays a 1 2 with Ben Dinage who loops it over straight into the path of Tj here. He's going to try and get the ball in if we can see it. Thank you, Daly, for getting out of the way. Tj looking to take it past a couple of players. It doesn't quite pay off. Patchum can get the ball away if it wasn't for young Maxi there, young Kieran Terne. On the left back. Sorry about that. Scottish accent. No, guys, I really do uh, apologise for that. But anyways, Maxi, back on the ball. 
on this left hand side and that is a throw in. Max is going to take the throw in quickly as Radzi is bursting down this left hand side looking to work away in for Garden as he is I mean absolutely crunched by the Patchman defender and apparently according to the referee this is not a foul. I don't know how that isn't a foul. Mate that is the clearest foul I have ever seen. Either way Max takes another throw in and honestly Max since coming on has got a burst of life down this left hand side as Ben Dennis loses the ball there to number four who's showing good signs of a bit of tech in his locker. Not quite number six there, he loses the ball. But anyways, the ball is launched up and it is a chase between two of the Garden players and the keeper. And the keeper just about gets there and unfortunately there is no one there for Garden to pick up the second ball. However, Bussy back on the ball, looking to find TJ down this left-hand side who since coming on, Max and TJ have got a little partnership going down this side and they seem to be getting a lot of joy as TJ is trying to cut inside here, looking for an opening. He plays it into a Radzi, who's tried to play the one, two. Radzi has a shot from the edge of the box. Imagine that flies top bins. We'll be talking about it for weeks. Either way, Ben Dinage, who now thinks himself as Rory Delap on the throw-ins, looking to find Bussy, who's turned the defender, and it goes out for another throw-in. And Ben Dinage, a.k.a. Rory Delap, as I just said, is going to take this throw-in on the 75th minute, 15 minutes left. Ben throws it in. It is flicked. It's missed. And it falls to his brother, Ryan Dinage, who's put this top bins. Mate, what a finish. Bailey on the camera there got so excited, he almost missed it. Luckily, we get to see this fly top bins. Are we going to count that as a throw and assist? I have the Dinages just combined to get us back into this. It's 3-2. Brilliant. Istanbul. Istanbul. <laughs> Mate, I thought, he, I thought he was going to miss that. I thought that had gone right. <laughs> Come top bin. The Dinages He was doing them before the game as well, outside of the footers. So. With less than 15 minutes to go, are Garden going to do it? Can we do a Liverpool versus AC Milan Champions League final? Can we do an Istanbul at Eastside? As you heard me say there, Istanbul. You see what I've done there? Eastside, our home ground. Istanbul, mixing the words together. Max, down this left-hand side once more, combining with Radzi and TJ. Mate, it is all kicking off now. And I can tell you for a fact, on the sideline, I have never been so nervous in my entire life as Goethe there trying to work an opening, but unfortunately gives away a foul. Max down this left-hand side once more. All of the joy is coming down this left-hand side. T's trying to show off with a bit of footwork there. He wins the ball back, plays it back into Maxi, who's been tackled there. This number 69 is, oh, he's been a little bit aggressive here. And 69 is not very happy with that as he is about to shove his head. Mate, you can't put your face in like that. That is a sending off if the ref had seen that. Mate, I'm not being funny. The fact that he's got away of that is outrageous. But anyways, as you can tell, emotions are high. Tempers are running wild as it's 3-2 of 13 minutes to go. Bussy on the delivery. Has he shot? Has he crossed? I can't quite tell, but it's almost gone in. Easily caught there by the Patcham keeper. Now with nine, eight minutes to go. 69 on the ball. Well, I'm right. Again. 69, don't run it. He don't run it. I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> As you heard there, number 69 does clearly want it. What does he want? I'm not too sure. But TJ is on the ball here, on the edge of the box, trying to work an opening. And Patchen were just throwing players at them, left, right and centre, closing down the Garden players very, very well, to be fair to Patchen. And once more, five minutes to go. Are Garden going to score? Are Patchen going to get a fourth? Mate, Ryan Dinage is there to stop Patchen from scoring. And now it's the fellow Ryan, Ryan Hunt, who's come on. He's played the ball over the top. Tyler Gocha here is racing in. Is this the moment? Is it going to be? Oh my God, it's 3-0. Four minutes to go. Tyler Gocha on his debut has made it 3-0. He's that ball. He's that ball. I don't believe it. 3-0 down at half time to 3-0 with just four minutes left to play. This is what Sunday League football is all about. And now, with the four minutes left to play, plus a little bit of stoppage time, what is going to happen? Garden are definitely on the offensive. Patchim have got to be absolutely bricking it. Bussy coming in there, mate. This was absolute carnage now. Can you imagine the scenes? Garden, obviously, on the sideline, giving Patchim a lot of stick. Obviously, Patchim with 3-0 up. Garden back to make it 3 all. There's a lot of banter being flown around from the pitch and off the pitch. So if Patchum score now, it will be extremely embarrassing. But Garden are looking to get the winner. As we give away a foul there, Garden are really looking to get the winner. And so are Patchum. We are closing down on the 90th minute here. It is so tense. Who is going to get the winner? Or is it going to remain 3-0? Only time will tell as TJ launches the ball up. 
and just gets it away. We must clear it at all, all costs, sorry. Garden trying to battle it. It's a little bit scrappy in this centre. We're now in stoppage time. Patrick on the ball. They are launching one last attack to try and win this game. Are they going to score? Oh my god. And the ref has called the final whistle, mate. If I was into Patcham there, I would be fuming oh, that the ref has called it. Towards the end of that, what a game! Right, that yeah. was a madness. <laughs> Last preseason game. I mean, had it all that. I've gone through the ringers. <laughs> but like we said, we, we all know it wasn't our best game, best showing for whatever reasons. But what we asked you the second half is to play the game in their half. We pinned them right back. We knew as soon as they got one, they were going to crumble. They were naive to start with anyway. Um, showed real great character, boys, to get back into that. Managed the game well, to be fair. We can't f ourselves up when we were, we were under the dumps first half. People moaning, people saying we should be in the division. People saying they can't play in certain positions. It, that's game, boys. It's going to happen. Things aren't going to fall your way as football. Uh, ben, lost you at half time. Brilliant second half. Did exactly what we wanted from you. Like Mike said, boys, if we start next week the way we played that second half, Regardless of the quality of the football, we'll be right in amongst them. Ben, hard fought draw there. 3 0 in the first half to them. Brought back to 3 0. Well, how do you think it went? Decent, mate. Much grit, decent heart. I thought we looked like a bunch of 11 lions out there in yeah. the den. Destroyed them. They didn't want it. Um, shout out to Bonesy if he was here. He would have maybe got 4 3, but um, I thought we played well, mate. I thought we were great. Yeah. Already did. Solid hard work, Ryan. Anything yeah. we brought from training into that second half? Yeah, it was good. A bit ropey, a bit scary at the beginning. We maybe could have been 3 1. A few mistakes that we won't happen again in the season. Yeah. But it was good apart from that heart, and you know, I was yeah. proud of us at the end. Yeah. Feeling good going into the season, start of the season next week? Buzzing. Buzzing. A bit, bit more fitness, yeah, yeah. but we're, yeah. we're there or thereabouts. We're, we play like that every week. Second half will be all right. Sorted, yeah. 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 Sorted. Solid from the brothers. Yeah. Ben, man of the match today. Well done. Cheers, mate. Cheers, geez, are Perfect, mate. I love it. All right, it's Gaffa. Hard effort from the boys today. Um, anything we'll take from that? Yeah, again, we showed heart. Um, Ben Dinich likes to describe it as uh, 11 lions, um, 11 tame lions in the first half, should we say. Yeah. Uh, but no, we just asked the boys in the second half just to show a bit more desire. Um, we can live with the mistakes uh, and it reacted well, so yeah. Yeah, different side definitely on the second half. Um, looking forward to the season next weekend. Anything we need to work on this week in training? Not really, fitness levels are getting there. Um, between me and Daly, we'll probably sit down, have a little chat um, before Thursday. Um, but no, the boys have been uh, top class all pre-season. Um, even the boys haven't played as many minutes. Stuck around, we've got a good harmony around the squad. Obviously, you saw the new signing fit right in today with the equaliser at the end. Um, with players missing and injured. Um, but no, no, really happy how the pre-season's gone and roll on to the game against Woodendee next week. Yeah, thanks. Up the garden. Oh my word. I now know what it's like to be an owner of a football club. Mate, I've never been so nervous in my entire life at the end of that match. I was actual shaken. Like, I was shaken. To have a second half so different to the first half, mate, they listened to the team talk. It showed great mentality, great desire, and to get it back to 3 all, mate, we, that was Istanbul. You know, AC Milan, Liverpool, Istanbul, East Side, that's where we play. Our, our ground is called East Side. So, uh, Istanbul 2020 just happened. If it went to Pens, I would, I would fancy us in a penalty shootout. But obviously, this was the last pre season friendly of pre season until the season next week, which starts on September the 6th. New kits, as I said, coming out this weekend on Instagram. So, make sure you follow us. Link in the description down below. Same with Twitter. And we'll be wearing them for our first match on the 6th of September, which is actually today when this comes out. So on the 12th next week, that is when you're gonna see the first kit in action, which is fantastic. But what a performance in the second half today. At, at the end, I had a feeling the uh, inter patch were gonna score and I would have absolutely cried my head off. But either way, great performance, great result, great day. Even though it was a draw, it's a good way to end pre-season. And with that being said, lads, if you have enjoyed it, please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, road to one million subs, and I'll see you next week for the start of the season. Goodbye.